A first leg winner in the series of Lebanon Raceway. A sports a lifetime best 154 into three. Finished eighth overall in the points race. Home by Kimberly Price, Gerald Nunman in the second chance table. Trained by Tony Price, driven tonight by James Pantliano. Number one is Tom Tom Baker. His lifetime best is 154. Recorded five consecutive place finishes to finish fourth overall in the point standings. All by Francis F. and Milton J. Schloss of Cincinnati, Ohio. Is trained and driven by Dave Rankin, number two, one of the best. He had two place finishes to wind up 10th in the overall points. Owned by Diana Lynn Malone of Waterford, Ohio. He is trained by Guy Malone. Joe Adamski gets the drive. Number three, triple trap. He sports a lifetime best 153 and two. Recorded three wins in the series to finish second in the points to his stablemate Moonlight Sam. Owned by Michael Samaglio and Stuart McIntosh. Trained by Sam Chip Noble III, driven tonight by Jeff Fout. Number four, Noble Attack. The 1992 two-year-old Colt pacing champion in the Ohio Sire Stakes recorded five wins in this series. Was first overall in the points owned by J.D. Burnett and Arnold Saban, a state of Wilmington, Ohio. Trained and driven by Sam Chip, Noble the third, number five, Moonlight Sam. His two wins helped him to a fifth place point standing. A 152-3 and three lifetime best on by Rebecca L. Kovach, Apple Creek, Ohio. Trained and driven by Tom Brinkerhoff, number six, Rough Stuff Baker. A second leg winner here at Northfield, six in the points, a lifetime best 153 and one. On by Jack Tremonti and Kenneth Summer, trained and driven by Kelly O'Donnell, number seven, Pruden Baker. And completing the field, has two wins in the series this year, was third in the point standings, on by Arsena Farm, Hudson, Ohio. Trained and driven tonight by Mr. Steve Carter, number eight, Man Trap Macho. There you have the starting field for the 1993 Henry Hank Thompson pays post time in less than five. They're at the post. Here they come. Merrill Finn pacing and Moonlight Sam fires out of the middle of the field of the neck on top. Rough stuff. Baker on the outside. One of the best moves right up. Along the rail, Tom Tom Baker around the turn they go. As they head to the back side on the outside, Moonlight Sam has it by a neck. In along the rail, one of the best, second rough stuff, Baker outside, third. Tom, Tom, Baker, fourth. Triple trap got away, fifth. Noble attack in there, sixth, and it's Pruden, Baker, and Man Trap Macho. They race down to the quarter pole. Moonlight Sam's out there, a half trips the beam in 27 and two fifths. Roaring in the fire turn the first time. Here comes a rough stuff beggar. Moves right up. Looks at it right in the eye. They're matching strides on the curve. In along the rail, one of the best is third. As Tom Tom Beggar fourth. Triple trap fifth. That is noble attack. Prudent beggar, man trap macho. In the stretch they come, roaring down to the halfway point of the race. It's hardball on the lead end. Along the rail, Moonlight Sam. Rough stuff, Baker is right there on the outside. Then comes one of the best third. Tom Tom Baker fourth on the outside and on the move. Here comes Noble Attack. They went to half 55 and one fifth. They're in the clubhouse turn, roaring into the back stretch. Moonlight Sam has that lead a half a length. Rough stuff, Baker on the outside. One of the best. Third along the rail, Noble Attack is now fourth. Tom Tom Baker fifth along the outside. You've got triple trap. And then it's Pruden Baker, Man Trap Macho. They're in the back stretch and now gearing up on the outside. Here comes Pruden Baker making a move. Meanwhile, Rough Stuff Baker is taking the top, has the neck in front. Moonlight Sam battling back. Noble attack between horses. Out three wide. Pruden Baker, three quarters, 124 and three. On the turn, coming home to Hank Thompson on top. Rough stuff, Baker and Brinkerhoff. They're out there a length and three quarters. Moonlight Sam's not done yet. He's trying to close. In the stretch, they come in a drive for the wire. Pruden Baker, with all the valves open, is roaring up. It's Rough Stuff Baker. Pruden Baker on the outside. Rough Stuff Baker. Pruden Baker. Rough Stuff Baker. 155 and 1.
Salt is official. And as we await the photo on tonight's 11th race, we remind you there are still two races. Race, the 1993 Ohio Sire Stake Champion, three-year-old pacing colt, number six, Rough Stuff Beggar. Rough Stuff Beggar posting his seventh victory of the year, his third Sire Stakes win of the season. He's a son of Beggar Field. Was bred by Sabrina L. Trogdon. Is owned by Rebecca L. Kovach of Apple Creek, Ohio. Is trained and was driven tonight by Mr. Tom Brinkerhoff. And standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation to Rough Stuff Beggar. We have the chairman of the Ohio Standard Bed Development Fund, uh, Dr. Robert R. Schwartz. He's accompanied in the presentation by Fund Secretary, Mr. Charles E. Bowen. Post time for the next race, 11 minutes away. Just 11 minutes till 12th race post time. You'll have to hurry. On the 12th race, trifecta and a perfecto wagering. Number four, some activator. The driver, Mike Doddle. Mike Doddle drives for some activator in the upcoming 12th race. Trifecta, six, seven, and one. Pays $1,512.60. The six, seven, perfecta, $184.40. Tonight's pick nine, five out of nine. The one dollar ticket pays thirty dollars fifty cents. The carryover now stands at four thousand eight hundred one dollars and sixty eight cents. And now standing by in the winner's circle for a word with winning driver Tom Brinkerhoff. Here is Dave B. and Coney. Okay, I'm joined by Tom Brinkerhoff here to explain to us just how he won the Hank Thompson pace. I'll be honest with you, Tom. A lot of people holding the win tickets on the six were starting to crumple them up when you were parked to the half and 55 and one. This horse lived on the outside tonight. Can you explain uh, why he raced such an awesome mile? Just a lot of heart. <laughs> I thought when we got the half, I might be done too, but... He hangs pretty good. Obviously, your intention was to go straight to was to go to the lead, though. That was my intention, but one chip got there. Why there was no getting there. <laughs> of course, this horse has sort of lived in moonlight, sh uh, Sam Shadow for his uh, last season and this season. Photoed out in the Sire Stakes Championships to Moonlight Sam last year. Of course, Moonlight Sam was five for five in the uh, preliminaries. I guess this pretty much breaks him out of the shadow and uh, puts him right now as the top three-year-old Ohio bred this year. Well, not really. Moonlight Sam's a nice horse, and he's going to be tough to beat every time you go against him. Also, Tom, uh, Baker Field, this horse's sire, uh, was just had to be put down about a week ago, and a very sad story. He died in a freak accident in the field as he was just coming into his own as a sire, but I, obviously he went out with a bang. He gave this one a lot of heart. Yeah, and there will be a big loss, too. Uh, Baker Field was having the best year he's ever had this year overall. Okay, Tom, are we going to see this horse back in action as a four-year-old, I hope? Oh, yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> well, hey, congratulations, Tom, on an awesome mile. Parked 55-1 and one to the half. Still managed to pace right by the favorite and win it in 155-1. and one. Congratulations to Tom Brinkerhoff. Of course, you're the trainer and driver and owner, Rebecca Kovach. Thank you.